This will also minimize any um, widgets you have on your reference panel and allows you to expand. This will allow you to graph. Say for example, if I had saved data and I added it to my graph, I'll be able to see my graphed information here. So this is particular to any custom data that you're looking for. If I want to save a particular data point that I want to use later, later in my documentation, I can click on a data point and actually add to save data. Notice that once I add a data point to my save data, I have a little bullet point that appears beside that data. And when I click on this icon here, you can see my saved data. I can choose to keep or remove. I'm going to close this here. Allergies will be documented here moving forward. Clicking on allergies will take you into the edit function. If I wanted to add a new allergy, I can look it up. You will notice as per usual, the reaction is required. You can click on the drop down to find the proper selection. Once you're done, click on save. The allergy will be updated into your reference panel. Diagnosis will reflect the last documentation from a provider who has documented this. And medications will reflect the BPMH. You also have scales last documented here as well. Next, you have your activity. Clicking on this will provide your patient's um, news feed. It will tell you what is the latest and greatest for your patient. For example, you can see that the patient has a next appointment that was booked and um, sorry, the messages that were sent through patient portal as well as documentation that was signed from earlier this morning. Clicking into that will display the medication administration record. Going down the newsfeed, you can also see an additional activity that was happening on alternative dates. You can also see um, any resulted labs, any reoccurring registrations to this patient, as well as any inpatient discharges. So this will display all information across every chart for your patient in the activity log. Flow sheets, if you're using clinical panels in your previous practice in PCS, you still be able to use that. Clicking into here will allow you to select the clinical panel that is applicable to you. For example, if you use my mental status summary, you can click on the star to add it to your favorites. Doing that will move the mental status summary to the top of your list and clicking on that will allow you to see information related to this panel. Please be aware that this is not reflective of the documentation date and time. This is the last documented information for this account. When you click on the actual ambulatory reoccurring account, then you will see the actual date and time. If there were multiple instances, you will see multiple columns. Health management. This is uh, a place that we are going to optimize for future development. For now, we are not using this. History and problem. This is where you will be documenting all of your patient's medical problems. To do this, you click on the active and the edit button to add a new problem. Okay. Under administrative, you'll be able to find your patient's demographic information, including their pronoun. The pronoun will be moved to the 
reference region in the future development. For now, it is going to be located within this chart, within this section of the chart. To find mental health forms and other legal information, please ensure to look under legal and scrolling down, you will find any scanned reports if there are any for this patient. Under appointments, you will be able to see other visits for your patient. So if they have additional visits and accounts, then you'll be able to see that as well located in here, whether or not they attended, no showed, um, etc. Under other clinical, the key uh, section here is the care teams. Clicking into care teams, you have the ability to add yourself as a primary clinician. To do this, click on the edit and you can add yourself. Clicking on diagnostics will allow you to see the recent diagnostic information. You can see that the patient has done uh, a lab test internally and you can see the results of this test. If your patient is um, take, doing their labs externally, please use the more and external application to view external labs. Provider notes. This is where all of the physician documentation previously sat. Um, moving forward after Web Ambulatory Go Live, all of your documentation and your peers' documentation created in Web Ambulatory will be located in this section. Anything historical from the previous PCS chart or from inpatients will be found under Nurse and Allied. For each of these, you can click onto the documentation in question. So if you're looking for the last documentation before the converted chart, you can come here and click on that documentation to see what was given and when the next due date is. Lastly, we have our medication list here. This will default to home medications. You can see medications that have been given a prescription and reported medications. Clicking on any of this document, uh, any of these medications allows you to go in and see a little bit more information such as um, PRN reason. And you can click in if you want to see, to make any edits or looking at the, ed uh, the audit trail. Thank you.